Hey guys, it's me Kevin and welcome back to another round of AFL tipping. This time I'm going to be predicting all the AFL winners from round 5. So let's get into it. To start off the round we are not heading to Metricon Stadium on a Thursday night where West Coast was supposed to play Richmond. It's a shame because I was looking forward to bagging this tip on this video tonight. I was practicing it in bed tonight, what I was going to say, the jokes I was going to make, but yeah, that's all gone because West Coast of Richmond will no longer be going ahead in round five. Instead, it will be Colton and St. Kilda facing off at Marvel Stadium on the Thursday night which I think St. Kilda will win, judged on how they just dismantled Richmond last week. I mean, they were going in as Premiership's favourites, and St. Kilda just dismantled them. And if you ignore their poor performance against a stingy Collingwood defence, their Round 2 game was just as um, impressive when they played the Bulldogs. Meanwhile, for Carlton, they haven't really convincingly won this season. Their two wins have been by two points and one point, respectively. And their game against Essendon, who I thought were going to be just going to get smashed because they were just going to be unprepared. I felt Essendon almost, they came in, I wouldn't say prepared, but they came in better than I expected. And if Essendon hadn't had their match cancelled, they would have absolutely smashed Colton last week. Um, yeah, so I think St Kilda, they, they just look like they they're gonna be aside a lot more than Cullen. They just look a lot classier. Cullen look like they just want to scrape something over the line. And they don't show up for half the time anyway. So I think St Kilda with more class will win. On the Friday night at the MCG Anzac Day match, Collingwood and Essendon, although it's not the twenty fifth of April, so I don't know why it's dubbed as the Anzac Day match, but whatever. Um uh, yeah I'm tipping Collingwood because Essendon they seem very rusty uh, they seemed very rusty last week in their performance against Colton after their whole um, coronavirus shit show. Uh, meanwhile, Collingwood, their defence is quite stingy, although it did slip up against the Giants in Sydney last week, but, well, it's in Sydney. They never play well there. Back at home, uh, Collingwood, I feel, will be far too strong to, um, and they'll be Essendon pretty easily. On a Saturday afternoon, where it was supposed to be playing on Thursday night, the Eagles in Sydney instead, this time. Uh, yeah, we might as well just say Sydney, because the Eagles don't want to try whatsoever. Although, although, there is a chance that the Eagles win, because Sydney, they're down forwards. They, they, they don't have a great avenue to go with Tom McCartan injured, but he's been out for, well, God knows how long he's been out for. Uh, but the Eagles don't even want to try, and Sydney, when they want to show up, they show up. So, judging that, I'm tipping Sydney, because the Eagles are playing disgusting. It's just playing disgusting now. So yeah, Sydney it is, um, who will probably put in more effort than the Eagles. Saturday Twilight, and this is a big, big game. Geelong and... The Gold Coast Suns, who are not the laughing stock of the AFL anymore, and all of a sudden Geelong don't have a free win. I will be tipping them, however, for one reason, because it's at home. That's literally the only reason I will tip Geelong. Um, it's because Gold Coast have to fly on the day. I'm not convinced with Gold Coast just yet. I mean, they've done well, but they, they, there hasn't been a team... That you could say, goal, uh, that has, out of the teams Gold Coast has beaten, none of them you could say are classy, um, like easy beats. The only one that was a bit of a shock was the Eagles, but it's turned out that they don't even want to be there. So it's almost turned into the Eagles are easy beats now. So, yeah, until Gold Coast beats a team that's actually trying on the night, then that's when we can say Gold Coast are going to do well. Um... It'll be an interesting test to see how the Suns go against a team that actually wants to try in Geelong um, at GMHBA Stadium. Although I'm not entirely convinced about Geelong either, given the way they played against Melbourne and Carlton in the last two weeks. But I just feel that. I don't know how strong Gold Coast are right now because they haven't really been challenged this season. So this will be their first big challenge for the Suns and that's why I'll be tipping Geelong. Uh, on the Saturday afternoon, the Dogs and North Melbourne, it's, yeah, 
Both teams will throw everything at it. I just feel the dogs, they have more class at the moment. Um, North Melbourne, they seem to be that youngish sort of side that is trying their hardest but can't exactly um, get grind out a convincing win right now. I mean, they did beat the Giants a couple of weeks, so I guess that was good. But they, they just seem so inconsistent. Dogs, I think, will have more class um, on the night with their star-studded midfield. Um, well, okay, without Lockie onto, but I, th I think Dunkley's come back. Whatever, I still think the Dogs will win. Um, also on Saturday night, and this is the top of the ladder clash, Brisbane and Port Adelaide. Uh, potential grand final preview all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm tipping Brisbane only because they're going to be in front of 10,000 shouting Lions fans and because it's at the Gabba. Um, Port Adelaide, I think this is going to be a good game. Port Adelaide are going to throw everything at it, but... Yeah, will they be? Will they feel intimidated by the Lions' roar? Is the big question. I think it's going to be a very tight match, but I think in the end Brisbane will grind out the win. Will probably be the match of the round. Sunday afternoon, uh, the two winless teams, Adelaide and Fremantle. Look, I think Fremantle they don't really deserve to be zero and four. It's just because of a shit forward line. That's the only reason why they have a. Um, that tally, um, but I think Fremantle, now they're playing an Adelaide side that just seem lost, they don't want to try, I don't know what's going on with Adelaide, they just, they seem to have so many problems right now, the, the Crows, they're not showing up to games really, Fremantle, yeah, they, they could score about 60 points and they'd probably still win uh, the Dockers, that's how bad Adelaide are playing. Uh, although that said, there has some, been some low scores, so they might even score just 40 and still win the Dockers. Wouldn't you even be surprised if they score 30 and win? Uh, I will be tipping the Dockers because they seem like they want to try more, is essentially the main reason I'm tipping the Dockers. Um, yeah. On Sunday afternoon, one of the other tweet games, Richmond and Melbourne. Uh, hang on, so... Isn't Richmond and Melbourne supposed to be played the night before Collingwood Essendon, not two days afterwards? Uh, I thought that's how it goes, but uh, whatever. The last three times of tip Richmond, I haven't got it correct. Well, okay, round two I got it correct, but not really, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I've tipped them every week, and most of the time it doesn't seem to be going my way. I will tip them this week. This is your last chance, Richmond, okay? Your last chance. I'm tipping you for one reason. Because Melbourne's forward line cannot function properly. They just cannot function. I don't know what it is. Melbourne's forward line, they're just... They're, they're posting such low scores. I mean, they kicked, what, 53 last uh, back in round two. They kicked 44 this week and against the Eagles, who haven't been playing all that well. They, they scored something about only 50 points. So... Their, their, their forward line's not functioning. And Richmond, to be honest, if they're all playing Hawthorne, North Melbourne, Geelong, Melbourne, any of those other low-scoring teams, they probably would have won last week. They got outclassed last week, but there's no class in Melbourne, let's face Well, okay, in the midfield there is. But once it gets down forward, it gets flushed out back into the midfield. And, yeah, I just feel Melbourne's forward line too inefficient. I think Richmond will win in a pretty... Scrappy, low-scoring game. And lastly, to finish off the round at Giants Stadium, GWS versus Hawthorne. I'm going with a shock here, and I'm tipping Hawthorne. Why? Because they beat the Giants twice last year. Uh, one of them in Canberra, which Giants rarely lose at. And I have a gut feeling with Hawthorne. Look, they were pretty scrappy against uh, North, but I'm not convinced about the Giants. They did win, but... I, I just have a feeling that Hawthorne will go up to uh, Spotless Stadium, no, Giant Stadium, and they'll win pretty easily there. I, I, I just feel Hawthorne, yeah, I just feel Hawthorne will win and outclass the Giants. I've been using that word too much this video, haven't I? So, to recap my tips, I am tipping Richmond, Colling, wait, no, hang on, that's the wrong one, sorry, uh, wrong round. So, this week's tips for real this time will be St Kilda, 
Collingwood, Sydney, uh, Geelong, Western Bulldogs, Brisbane, uh, Fremantle, Richmond, and Hawthorne. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. Please give a like to this video. Comment who you think will win down below. Comment what you think of this video. What do you think will happen to the AFL? I will be making a video um, shortly based on how do we get around this whole Victorian travel um, crisis at the moment. And should we relocate the 10 Victorian teams? I certainly think we should. And that's what I will be discussing next video. So stay tuned for that. Check out some of my other videos. And I'll see you in that very video, which will be tomorrow. Goodbye.